When I got my check from Spider-Man 2, I got a phone. I went to the fucking place where they give you prime rib in Hollywood. That's well known. Musso and Frank's. Musso and Frank's. I took my wife. I took two friends. We ate the pot roast, or the, the thing, with the check. That was the biggest check I ever saw in my life for, for Spider-Man 2 when I did it. It was 14 days. I dipped a ton of fucking prime rib in the, in the horseradish. Ooh. And then from there, we went up to Dodger Stadium. And I sat there minding my own business. And there was a father and a son in front of me. And you know how the seats are staggered. So you don't sit behind somebody. You're staggered. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting like this with my legs open. And I feel a little rumbling in my stomach. Oh, no. And I feel that horseradish and that fucking horse meat they sell you at Musso and Frank's. Getting all put together. And all of a sudden, Philippe, I started farting. But they were perfect. They were ricocheting off the chair. And they were going in between the father and son team, right? And then it would mm -hmm. spread like the coronavirus. Like a fog. And it would, surround, it would surround their heads. The people I was sitting with couldn't take it. They were covering their faces. <laughs> this father and son team would just sit there. And after about three minutes of just... <laughs> I'm just inhaling this fart. The father and son team would just look at each other. And then they would look back at the kid. <laughs> <laughs> now, by the looks of everything, the kid had a glove. He was one of those idiot kids that thought he was going to catch a ball. But too bad we're sitting up with the Puerto Ricans. Fucking, fucking Sammy Sosa couldn't hit a ball up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're up there where the fucking buses don't run. We went to a Dodger game with somebody good. And those were the only tickets they had, Felipe, up in the top. So you're so, a, you're in the top deck. You yeah, catch the nothing up there but a couple. Yeah, all you're gonna catch is fucking Cobra's cousin. It's full of vid, vid. the top. You know, I don't know if you've been to the top of the top I deck am. of Dodger Stadium. When there's a lot of people and it's hot, oh. and it gets it's right by eight o'clock, <clears> just a shit little mosquitoes, bro. And you gotta take the elevator up with twenty people that got COVID. That third floor never again. So what about the fucking all you can eat section? I don't know nothing about that. I don't sit in that terrifying. section. So. I know people take backpacks, they take hot dogs. Homie. I fucking, I'm sitting there and I'm blowing every 20. I'm blowing one of these fucking horrible horse rats. Are you trying spots. to get rid of them or are you just having fun? No, I'm just having fun at this point. And the people I'm with, the people behind them, the people I'm with, the three, I was with my wife and two friends and they're like, Jesus Christ, Joey. But the two people in front of me, the father and some team, Felipe, every time they fought it, they would tighten up. I wouldn't even make, they were silent. They weren't making noises. They just stunk horribly. And they and the wind was blowing mildly, so they just surround you. You've never been smoking weed outside, and the, the smoke goes around you. The fart was going around them, and they couldn't take it no more. And every time they kept looking at each other, finally the kid's glove went down, and about the sixth inning, I started blasting them to an inning. And finally the father and son looked at each other. And they just got up and walked away, bro. They left the game. They couldn't take the. <laughs> you should, you should get canceled for your farts. Your farts are pretty terrible. Oh my god, Rodrigo fart? Torres, man, he farted in New York City. But after a show, they went to this club with Luis Guzman and Toby Hicks, and they were just at this nightclub, and and it was a tight little club, and it was hot. And Rodrigo farted loud, but nobody heard it because of. Bah, 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 bah. Right, dude, oh. it smells so bad it cleared out the whole club. Talk the you can hear Puerto Rican going coño. The fucking que, ol que olor es el coño, bro. The puro puro puerco. The garlic pills I take will put you on a different planet. Listen to me. I had an N95 mask on at the park in the beginning of this with my <laughs> daughter, and one day I fought it when I was sitting there and I smelt it through the mask. I didn't know. If the mask was cheap or if my asshole was that good. You know what I'm saying? Like you're sitting there going, I don't know what's what. I don't know if the mask is a fugazi or my fucking asshole is that much stronger. I don't even know what we talked about on this podcast. But Matt, I have no idea. We have But I've been talking. like the worst parts are the one where you're like been partying for three nights straight. You've been wearing the same fucking socks. And I remember coming home and it was one of those nights that you were just calling me constantly and you know I was fucked up. And I was not returning your call, and, I, and then you left. You would leave angry messages, encouraging messages. You fucking cocksucker! You're better than this. 
that you know you're gonna be smarter than the white guys. You're gonna be funnier than the black guys. You gotta stay focused. Everybody wants to. See, everybody wants to see you go down. So man, I remember, man, my stomach was hurting real bad because I had I ate a, a fucking burrito at Siete Mares. It was like a fucking uh, al pastor burrito with a lot of salsa. And I went to sleep. I drank two horchatas. I had nothing in my body but that food. I turned on the fan real loud. Well, real loud, real high. And now uh, I fell asleep. And man, I was farting in my sleep, but the fan was throwing everything in my face. Oh. So I, I, thought I was dreaming, bro, that I fucking, that someone threw me in a septic tank. But I, I, I love that. Like the stinkier my fart is, I love it. But whenever Joey farts, I'm, I like it. I have to puke. His beef is strong. I don't fuck around. It's he should be now. canceled for that fart, the one he yeah. just said, man, for Dodger Stadium. Oh, my oh. God, that was horrible. He should have canceled you from being in left field pavilion. He's gotten better at it, too. Now he angles it. Every time- I've always been very good. Since high school, I know how to bank shot a fart. Oh, but I can tell now. Every time he turns his chair, like, 90 degrees, I'm I had a- in front of me. But I've uh, also bent over. I've done, I've done the Chinese I've, um, fart in front of you. Where I, I bend over. I do stretches. I've been I fucked do up. I a kidney stretch. <laughs> I do a kidney stretch fart on you. What the, how do you stretch your kidney? Because I got the idea. I, I learned it from the Chinese. Did you say what time you fucked everybody up at the YMCA when you were doing Pilates? I fucked people up at the YMCA one time. I fucked people up. The biggest fuck up I ever had was on a bus in high school on the way back from a basketball game. I blew two, three farts. That they were, they were the worst things you ever smelt in your life. And when I saw the cheerleaders crying, it was when I knew I had achieved uh, success. When the cheerleaders were crying, they're like, please, whoever's doing this, stop. This is terrible. When I saw those girls crying, and I still remember the girl that was crying at my farts. Her name was Lori Rosa. I think that's her name. She had like a Butch Patrick hairdo. I still remember her and another bunch of <laughs> Butch Patrick little hairdo. white girls crying. <laughs> like the proudest thing. I, like, I remember seeing you so proud. Like, I made Chili just cry. I went, fuck him. I was having sex, you know, when I was w- wired out. And, um, I, you know, you, you get real nasty, bro. It's dark. And you're doing like, you're doing bad stuff. And I, this girl farted in my face when I was oh. down there. But, I, but you know, man. You could either ignore it or keep going, bro. So I ignored it. Well, if you, if you, it would have with my mouth, bro, like a like my mouth with a bong, bro. And then later on, she looks at me all pissed off. She goes, no, "Why well, you're mad?" And I made a joke about it. I said, "Cause you ate my cheesecake." He goes, "How do you know, bitch? You know, you farted cheesecake in my mouth." Oh. <laughs>